Welcome back to 64, my latest addiction. Uh, all right. What are we going to do? <laughs> we're building a machine and we're trying to figure out there's like a, a rock to the north, really far to the north, which we haven't been able to break, but we can break these cubes. Right now we have machines that are set up to do it automatically. Looks like I can upgrade some of these stabilizers. I should probably do that. Keep these all populated with blocks. They need them to run. And let's see what else we can build right now. Oh, what about this? Yeah, okay. That's not, There's nothing new there with, with our, our chat that we're having with our friend who's concerned about us. Okay, we want to make... God, coming back to this after taking a break is like... Like, where where was I? <laughs> okay, this is the... Um, Karenite Sump, which reclaims Quantitite. We want that. I want a bunch of Quantitite, because Quantitite gets us more extracting channels, which is going to just give us generally more resources. We have a lot of Elmarine, which is the uh, yellow or orange. It's like a bit of both. So I can, I can help break these. Okay, I think we're going to want to build this uh, burner thing at some point. The beta pylene oxidizer, which burns the the orange to get carinite. <laughs> uh, we could build any number of them. Oh, we've already done that. Okay. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Do I want to do that right now? What what are we using? Oh yeah, we're trying to we're trying to save up for this material streamer tower. Increases visibility by compressing moving resources. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what does this do? Oh, nice. It collapses that. Also, what's in the what's in? The, oh, that gets rid of that. Okay. Neat. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Maybe it pops up when there's something new. I don't know. It's a really pretty looking game though, eh? Just watch it go for for hours. And uh, I'm using the RimWorld soundtrack because this game doesn't have any music as far as I can tell. Let's load some of these in. This converts the black and some purple into Elmarine. This does something else. <laughs> I just, I just need to populate these things, which push down these things, the extracting channels automatically. These other machines just like some, this one pops them and then these things speed up the pace of the popping. Do, should I keep? Oh, okay, there we go. So a new pump upgrade. We haven't gotten any of these yet. An auxiliary pump upgrade provides quadrupled pressure to a source channel placed next to it. That's a lot. So. Let's upgrade this. Oh, what does it take? A lot of stuff. Look at how many, look at how much freaking red we have now. It's because this is producing just red because it's it's dug down to 717 meters. But that's okay. Because we're saving up for this. We need 32,000. Basically, we need 32,000 black and red. All right. Um How are we going to get more of this again? Quantitate with this, right? In fact, I should probably build more of those 
And the more we build of a, of a particular machine, the more it costs. I feel like things have slowed down a bit here. What's, what's, oh, that's why. One of the, the auto um, breaking machines ran out of resources. wait a little bit I think I should maybe I should burn some of this to get some more blacks going wait. once this produces we might be able to build another extracting channel but maybe I should build more of those I don't know I put them next to each other this seem to be anything Maybe I'm missing out on something that will make that go faster. Look at how fast this is going up now. Damn, both of those. You see the speed these blocks are going up compared to these ones? It's because of this guy right there. That thing that we just built. Okay, so these popped. Let's keep going. Need more black. This is producing. Once I, once this produces, we'll get more black, and then I can pop more into here to get more, <laughs> more purple. I'm never gonna memorize the names for those. I'm so bad at remembering uh, names for things. Every once in a while, we chat with our friend down here. Usually, it's when something new is unlocked. That almost, that's almost done, huh? Boom. So, I could do pump station. Oh, I wanted to do, populate these. And I think I want another extracting channel before I upgrade this one. Should I? We're good. We're good on on uh, El Marine. I was thinking I should could populate these. There's got to be something that we build to make these go faster, right? Okay. Things are slowing down a little bit. Is it this one? Ah, that's missing a thing. So you need to feed cubes to these for them to actually work. I think I build more sumps. You can also um, recycle stuff if you need to move things around. Eventually you might be able to just move things for free, yeah, but I'm not sure. Let's keep uh, upgrading these uh, and destabilizers to make them uh, dig faster, break faster. A lot of uh, beta pylene again. So we're almost at 2048. 
There we go. Okay, so new extracting channel. And we want to build it here. Build 64 machines. Game's called 64. So there you go. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, and then we want to start building the uh, entropy resonators. Need more black. That's going to produce there. Things have stopped. It means I've got to repopulate these. You can kind of tell bricks stop getting produced. So the way I have it set up right now is these entropy resonators, which periodic periodically crush resources if placed next to a cube, require a quantity to operate. I put them uh, so that they're working on two or three blocks. I think the first one I put up here. Because it works diagonally too, not just uh, directly adjacent. Okay, we're about to get a bunch of black cubes, which will let us build the entry resonators. There we go. So we want to put that here. And we also want to put one here. This is the way I've been doing it. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm never good at making these things super efficient but this is what I've come up with so far. I'm sure there's even more efficient ways to do it. Oh, we can get this pump station upgraded too. So now both of these will pump really fast. Good. So we're lacking in quantite again, and if we want to get quantite, feed these, but we're lacking in the black. We have a lot of the uh, beta piling now, so we need to feed that. I think I could just hold the button down to populate these things. So destabilizers will pop things twice as fast. Start building those. Got to give them one orange cube. Did that get one? Yeah, okay. Still need to build entropy resonator. I think I need to build another one of these. I should probably put a space between it because there's probably going to be, like I said, things that I can put in there. Uh, and then I think we're, I think we're rolling now. So I'll show you the I'll show you the rock. If you guys uh, didn't watch the first episode, here it is. I can't, so I click on it and nothing happens. But I built stuff next to it. And it didn't seem to doesn't seem to do anything. So I, I guess I need to unlock something to be able to break that. Um, entry resonator go here, right? going around. I can't I can't zoom out. Minus? I would like to zoom out one level. Maybe that's what this does. Crap. 
increases. I don't understand. Oh, or maybe it lets, maybe it just lets us see better because it compresses the streams or something. More destabilizers. So now these are going to start to... Yeah, you can hold the button down. I built this thing over here, which lets me hold the button down instead of having to, like, press it constantly to accomplish things. I wonder if we'll be able to get an... Up I wonder if we're going to get an upgrade for the extracting channels at some point. So, more industrial stabilizers. Got a lot of black now, but we're lacking in... ...in yellow. Oops, that's not the one. Elmarine. That's what I, I want to populate these. Whoops. We are rolling now. So material streamer tower. That's the only thing I haven't really built. And it's red and black. And right now we have more red than black. So let's... Let's do that. Uh oh, things have slowed down. I need to populate some things. Looks like it. Okay. So I might want to build some more of these vats. Kind of beautiful, eh? Oh, and this is made by one developer as well. It's just, man, what you can make these days. What one person can make these days, just tremendous. really need purple unless we want to make another attracting channel. Okay, we can start to upgrade this destabilizers destabilizers to industrial. We're at 49,000 of the black. And we're basically just producing red and black right now. But once these dig down, you see there's some purple coming in. That's why you have to constantly build new um, tracking channels. We're getting there, though. Kind of becoming almost like a city. It's like this is the industrial area and this is downtown. This is where, like, the single structures are. Oh, something's up here. That 
shall produce our Almarine. Let's produce some more of the Quantite too. Getting close, guys. I keep forgetting what, what produces what. Need the beta pylene. Nothing creates beta pylene, right? I have to mine it. So far. We're getting close, guys. I'm assuming once we build this, something cool is going to happen. I might want to break those down. Well, I'll wait till I get something that actually will enhance those. Or I move them around. Green energy. What a pain in the ass. Huh? Talking to our friend again. A green stone. It takes ages to break it. I had to come up with something if they keep showing up. Oh, I didn't notice. I'm sure it'll make some fancy machine for that. You bet. Oh, disassembling tower. So it uh, is a recycling tower upgrade. Um, which one was the recycling? Oh, we got a bunch of new stuff. Okay, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We can build the material streamer tower too. Build it downtown. Yeah, okay. That, that is what it does. Okay. Doesn't allow me to zoom out, but it makes the resources streams smaller. That's good, because it was getting a little annoying. Okay. So we got, uh, starting from, first of all, let's go way to the top. Yeah, excavating channel. An extracting channel upgrade excavates a lot of resources fast and places them further around itself. Oh, cool. Okay. Guys, we need the, we need that green. That's huge. There's a green right there. Oh, look at how long it takes to break. I'm, I'm holding down the button here. That's to get one. So it's below, it looks like it's below red. There is a sense of exploration in this game. I was saying, that's the one thing I need these games to have, and there is. It's like, what are we gonna find next? It's not your traditional exploration, more like excavation exploration. Okay, so that's new. We got the uh, Hell Gem Destabilizer, Industrial Destabilizer upgrade, boosts the power of resource crushing processes by 625 times. When a Hell Gem is present, the extracted cube. Otherwise, it provides no benefit. Requires one Hell Gem to operate. Okay, so we need to build this. Hold on. We need to build this so we have a wider um, 
thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. That totally changes everything. We definitely need to upgrade. We need more industrial destabilizers. That's for sure. On this side over here. We need more... Or yellow or, like, really not producing any... We also need 128 greens just to build that, so that's gonna be that's gonna take a while. Hell gem injector swaps a random resource from an adjacent cube with a hell gem. If there's none has 32 charges. It provides it provides with 32 hell gems and 64 quantitite. What? So it's going to move the hell gem, I think, away. So you can send it to um, this hell gem destabilizer to be processed faster, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other new things. Material Streamer Tower Mark 2. Material Streamer Tower upgrade increases the speed of resource transfer. So these will move faster, I guess. Seem that important right now. Disassembling Tower, a recycling tower upgrade allows machine disassembly, which returns all the resources. Uh, okay, so this is uh, replaces this recycle with a 100% recycle. Fill Director indicates machines ready for filling. Underground silo. On activation, refills nearby machines and then automatically refills them 60 more times. Sweet. Hell gem oscillator. An upgrade to quantitite oscillator. Increases the oscillation frequency. There can only be one. Okay. Isn't the quantitite oscillator... <laughs> These names. Oh, that's not the entropy resonator. Oh, it's this thing. Which we can't see or anymore, right? I think that's the thing where I can just hold down the button and it... Uh... It does the clicking. It's like an auto ray click. Oh, we got another extracting channel. Should I keep building this way or should I go... I don't know. I kind of want to work my way up to that block, so... But I could I could start in a different direction, because I was using these. As, like, my guide. Oh, the one thing I'm missing is the coolers. I feel like I should just get rid of the cooler, to be honest. Is it really helping? So what it does is basically makes these go up faster. Where'd it go? Channel cooler. Place this next to the cube extracting machine to extract cubes twice as fast. Am I misunderstanding what this does? I thought it, this is the cube extracting machine, right? Yeah, extracts resources, okay. And it works, oh, there's one. Works diagonally adjacent. So let's build, a, ooh, there we go. I think I'll I think I'll wait on the hell gem destabilizer. Let's build that there instead. Keep replacing these. I could put it there, but it would just be for the one. 
I have to like reconsider this whole operation with the new channel. Like I need to like tear everything down and rebuild it basically. So maybe I should, uh, let's build this like, it's going to be a bit weird. I'm going to, I'm going to build this like here. We definitely, we're not producing Elmarine like at all. So we need to keep using these vats. Can I build this? Oh, I need the reverse valve, right? That gets it pumping. So then if I put, let's just test this. Yeah, it goes up faster. You see it going up faster? Let me just do a comparison here. Pretty, it's 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 a bit it's quite a bit of a difference. So now we need to build the um there's another green one. Man, it's like so hard to keep track of these. Now we need to build the um entropy resonators. So what are we missing here? Yeah, we're just, we're just not digging up any of those yellows. That's why we need this. Okay, entry resonator. First one up here. See, now it's gonna make, maybe make sense to build them around here. And then, uh, the stabilizers. I say we burn some uh, beta piling. Maybe just one. Eventually, these are going to get dug out, you know? It'll just take time. Oh, I should have put this on the other side. Yeah, that was a very smart. Now's the time to do it. Then I could put a second one next to it. Resonator. We're getting a lot more greens down here. I guess once it's all green, which is what will eventually happen, then we can replace these.
Need a lot of black for these entropy resonators. I figure putting them here because it will dig all three, right? Such a freaking chill game. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. I figure, you know, there's, there's a, I did a poll once and like 50% of people, it depends on the series too. Just watch my videos kind of on the side while they're doing work or doing something else. I, it, so I kind of like having a series that's kind of geared towards that, right? So this is a, I think this is a good one for that. People can just listen and do their work. You've got the Numeral soundtrack, one of the most, one of the best chillest soundtracks as well. Okay. Once these pop, should be able to. Should be able to build more of these entropy resonators. We have so much red now. Maybe I should build another uh, of the burning things. Okay. We're at 14 green. So just stabilizers. And then we want to upgrade those destabilizers to the um, Ooh, we're running out of quantite, so this produces quantite, I think. Or qua sorry. Yeah, quantite. Or conotite. That. You can kind of tell because if you mouse over, it's the resource that isn't there. We need that for the auto digging too, so that's really important. And it's the resource... Or I guess it's purple, sorry, do I, do I keep saying blue? Um... That comes, yeah, it comes after the yellow. So like this is gonna start getting into that. That's why we have to keep producing new ones. So this has uh, all of the regular destabilizers. Now we wanna do industrial. Speaking of RimWorld, there's um, there's a big DLC coming out for it. I'm looking forward to jumping back into that. And there's a game called Norland, which I'm going to be trying out, which is like a combination between RimWorld and Crusader Kings. So look out for that coming your way uh, on Monday. Wait, that might be that might be the day this video is coming out. So, or no, it would be the day after. I might do a stream of that or of course some, some videos, I don't know. So I could put another destabilizer. See, it's going so fast up. It's going up faster than I can dig. So maybe, what if I remove this?
That would just be another block, right? Oh, do I have a space here? No. I think that makes sense. How are we doing? We have... We need to keep these populated. And those, frankly, too. And then convert to more black. <laughs> so funny. So funny how this is working out. It's... it's uh, You'd have to put a lot of thought into this to make it work. Because if it's just... If the balance is off a little bit, uh, you, could, you could just end up stalling everything. So then I could put... No, not another destabilizer. I want to I want to be upgrading these. It's also kind of funny you can tell when something needs to be, like, refreshed, because you stop hearing the popping. It's because I built this. This thing is like a pump and a cooler all in one. See how slow these are going up compared to this one? Wait, is that? Yeah, that's the right spot. Okay. I wonder if I'm, am I, if I just have all of these running, am I producing, am I just like moving resources back and forth? I don't know. I'm not really working out the math. Just, just trusting. Like when I need something, I use those machines to get it. Probably the best way to think about it. Because I'm using this to get purple, and I'm using this to get yellow, but they require a little bit of each. Okay. Yeah, eventually it's all going to be hell gems here, right? So I'm going to want to replace them. Because it will do the whole block. If all these blocks have one hell gem, that's when I start replacing. You'd think the hell gem would have been red, but whatever. So we're waiting on upgrading. We need the industrial destabilizers. So all, all of this, need all of these populated all the time. And now we're starting to get into the yellows, okay. That's good. That'll allow us to build up the industrial stabilizers here. There we go. Actually, we have some to build up here as well, eh? I wonder if I shouldn't have just... Once again, need more yellow. Maybe I should have kept the center channel just for Extracting channels and pumps. I'm going to do some work down here to keep these... Keep these digging because I want more hell gems. I presume, like I said, that th this is all going to be hell gems.
We're at 33 now. Yeah, there's another. Okay. That's better. I had one of those, um. Industrial destabilizers. We're almost at the point where I can make another one. these pop I'm liking it. It's a 1644 for the next one. The UI is incredible in this, too. Like, just really well thought out like you can see how many resources there are left and you miss over things i don't know it doesn't seem like we're getting more and more hell gems does it are we gonna just have like resources all the way across eventually like Have I happened upon something else I can build that I need? Not really, eh? I guess the pump station eventually here. But honestly, we're not even destroying these that fast. But at the same time, if it's up, you're destroying it. If it's not up, you're not you're not starting to destroy it, so you do want it to go up as fast as possible, to be honest. Oh, there's another spot here where I can make a regular destabilizer. No, I don't want to do that. That's right. It's got to produce faster. Oh, but we're already into the purples. How long are you into the... Feels like... Elmarine is the most rare resource so far. And now we're barely producing the uh, Karenite. We've got to use these burning bats. Maybe 
Maybe I should put another cooler here. Just until we can uh, replace that. These are not going up very quickly. Maybe I need to make more uh, Karenite enrichment vats. Because we also use the Almarine to, uh, for the pump. And ultimately, we want to get to here, right? But that's the green. Need better versions of that. But there isn't. This would be nice. This and the, uh... Oh, it's underground! Refills nearby machines. Ooh, that would be great. Then I don't even have to refill them. And that's 64, okay. That's probably the next thing we want, actually, is this. And, of course, this, but... This is gonna get us to there faster. And frankly, just building more extracting channels will get us there faster, too. Eh? It's a cool balancing act. Some more purple, too. Industrial destabilizer. Wonder what the range is on this. I see. No, you have to be able to build it first. Well, that's the goal. Let's help these ones out. Click a cube 64,000 times. Okay. Uh, maybe I should think about setting up a chain for this. Oops. So I can break these green ones faster. I can build it now, but I kind of want to build this. Let's wait. Let's save up for the underground silo. Just, I'm curious about the range. I think I start sending up like these machines where like swapping and digging the hell gems when I build this. 
excavating channel. I don't know, does that make sense? I don't think we need to be uh, worried about Quantitite too much because we're, we're digging it over here. Like I said, it's mainly uh, El Marine. It's limiting us. I still have more industrial stabilizers to build over here. We should do that. That'll help to get the greens as well. Maybe I should have put these on the corners. It's basically the same thing, right? So one more. This is the last one we need. Alright. But I'm not sure if I have enough of the other resources. 32,000. Okay. Once these pop, that might do it. I hope it's a really big area. And I hope it actually is underground. Okay. Oh, man. That's not big at all. <laughs> is it underground? No, it's not. Oh, man. It's not very good. I mean, this isn't a bad spot for it, though. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think it makes more sense to uh, build, save up for this, the excavating channel, or build a hell gem to stabilizer. It's an upgrade for the destabilizer. So I'd probably want to put it like here. Let's put it there. And then swaps a random resource. Let's keep upgrading these. Yeah, see, this is barely digging now because of that hell jam thing. But eventually there will be more, it looks like. So that one should get destroyed fast, right? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, does it grab the actual gem? A show destabilizer boosts the power of resource crushing process by 625 times when a hell gem is present in the extracted cube. One hell. Oh, it requires a hell gem to operate. That's why. That's why that's there. Okay. All right. You know, let's. Oh, it just absolutely decimates them, though. 
when, when there's one there. Maybe there? Build an industrial destabilizer. Yeah, I think that this is this is definitely smart. We don't really need the red that much, right? We've got so much. It's more about the hell gems. All right, well, I'm keeping the episodes to about an hour, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. This has been the hell gem episode. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah give him hell. <laughs> hell gems, watch out, give him hell. I think it's because we built that machine. I might've missed that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you're enjoying this. Or you think it's a waste of time? <laughs> well, I can, I can tell by the numbers usually, but let me know in the comment section what you think. I'll see you on the next one, and I love you all.